Now, how do you use the dwell control in iPhone? And let's get started. So the dwell control feature is, as the name suggests, requiring you to dwell over or hover on buttons and clickable things within UI and it gets clicked without even pressing anything. So you might be wondering, how does that work? So at first you need to enable it inside of these settings. So open up the settings app, tap on accessibility, find the touch section and click on assistive touch right there below. You're going to be able to find the dwell control. So just enable it like this. And based on the little description there, you can see that it allows you to hold the cursor still for the specified amount of time and it will perform the selected action. So the keyword here is cursor and we don't have any, anything like that right now on the phone because in order to add that, in order to use a cursor or a pointer device, you will need to use an accessory like a Bluetooth mouse or even a trackpad. And using these things, a cursor or a, you know, pointer device will appear on the screen and you can use that accessory to click and press around the UI, similar to a computer. And with the dwell control enabled, you can just hover that cursor over a button and after the time is up, it gets pressed without you even pressing it. So. Obviously, right here, you get to pick the time it takes to perform that action. By default, it's 1.5 seconds, but you can bump it up or lower it down if you really wanted to. So that's how it works. You know, it only works with these accessories and is just how you can enable it. One last thing which I need to mention is that if you connect a trackpad or a Bluetooth mouse, it's not going to work unless you enable the assistive touch as well. For whatever reason, this is how it works. So you need to have that turn on as well. And then the pointer will appear. So yeah, another thing which is kind of crucial to know. So yeah, but I'm going to wrap up the video right now. Let me know below in the comments what you think about it. Are you actually going to be using this feature in real life? Let me know about that. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you later in the next video.